Hello, so you've come to see a musk turtle feeding. This musk turtle is going to hunt some worms for you. And I'm also going to talk to you a little bit to give you a little bit more information about musk turtles. So a musk turtle is also known as a stink pot because they have a gland. They can excrete a foul smelling uh, liquid uh, as a defense mechanism. So if you're a fine one in the wild, you may notice that they smell really bad. And that's just because they're that's their defense mechanism. Also, they they can bite. So be careful if you ever find one in the wild. Uh, they're not like a snapping turtle where they can rear their head really far back, but they can rear their head pretty far. So just be careful if you ever find one in the wild. Um, the cool thing I found about these musk turtles is that not only do they is this one a size of a quarter as a baby, but they are max size is about six inches. So that's perfect if you don't have like a 50 gallon tank or 100 gallon tank with some giant you know 10 inch or 12 inch turtle um, these are are just fine and probably a 20 gallon tank um, again make sure that you have everything you need uh, that's suitable for a turtle so for example this is just a five gallon uh, tank uh, and if this is just a quarantine tank slash observ observation tank um, that a friend let me borrow this turtle um, because he knew that my son um, loves reptiles and we don't have any reptiles in the home. We've never had one. The closest thing to it is an oxalotl and that's an amphib amphibian, but all of our pets are just fish. So this was a rare cheat to have this turtle for a day and just to observe it eating. Uh, so since it's only a day, we don't have like a heat lamp in there, but I did put a log, um, out of the wall that was half in the water, half out of the water so that he could go up there and just kind of dry off if he needs to. And I saw him sitting up on, on that log, um, sometimes. But for the most part, they're aquatic turtles. They're going to stay in the water most of the time. And if you've ever seen one in the wild, it's going to be covered with algae. Just because they're in the shallows, they're getting a lot of sun. They're not moving much during the day because they're nocturnal. So good luck trying to find one during the day. It's going to be covered with algae. It's not going to be moving. And they're small. So I can't imagine a harder thing to try to find. Now this turtle could eat so much. If I already, I usually don't name my pets, but I would name this turtle Kobayashi. I don't even know if that's correct. But there used to be this world champion hot dog eater, uh, Japanese fellow, and he would be able to just eat so many hot dogs. And just how this turtle is able to just chow down so many worms, he definitely would get the name Kobayashi. It's, they're not great swimmers, so they'll just stay on the bottom of the water column and just kind of walk along just like a hippo would in a creek bed. So as you can see, he's not going very fast at all. Uh, that's why you won't find them in fast flowing streams it'll just typically be um, a pond or, or just really still water if you think mustards are awesome and you want to buy one online there are many places where you can buy captive bred turtles i highly recommend buying captive bred ones instead of trying to get ones from the wild but if you do decide to get one from the wild make sure you check your local laws and regulations as far as keeping wild turtles before you even think of buying a turtle make sure that you learn as much as you can about turtles for example they can live a very long time they can live 30 or more years and also make sure that you have the equipment for them so you will need a heat lamp so when they're basking that heat will help them to digest their food and specifically for musk turtles you're going to need a easy way for them to go from the bottom of the tank to the top of the tank to breathe so that's why we have a half submerged log in there that they can walk up and then breathe so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.